Yo, what's up chat? Why, this microphone is starting to drive me nuts. It won't stay anymore. <laughs> I think I need to tighten it up. It's gonna stay. So anytime I make video content, it always does this, and it takes me like five minutes for it to get it to the position that it actually stays in. Oh my God, come on. 
about it. No, we don't. Maybe I'll try to pull it down here like this. Yeah, ASMR. What's up, chat? How's everyone? Um, is, is there anyone on Twitch chatting? Because I don't see any Twitch chats. Oh my god, this microphone, man. It's I need to get a new stand. And it's an expensive stand as well. Really, really expensive. Why won't you stay? Come on. Okay, we got it. Right, we got it. It's probably a little far from my mouth, but anyway. What's up, Yami? What's up, Titan? Than Titus? Matthew? JDM Duck? Dustin? Uh, him, yes. What's up? What's happening, folks? Hope you all had a, a nice weekend. Valentine's Day tomorrow, so it is what it is. Uh, you know, Valentine's Day, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sad. Uh, it is what it is, right? Um, okay, so my plan for tonight, right, is I, I, I'm, prob I'm only going to do about an hour of a stream. A bit of an impromptu one, as the title suggests. Uh, the reason being that I'm doing it tonight is because uh, I kind of was doing some stuff today for um, a championship. And then I got... Oh wait, we're missing things on screen. There we go, we got our sponsors and stuff back. Um, and then I got like a notion to work on a streetcar. So I'll show you guys the streetcar that, that I've been building for recent night. It's based off the VDC car. But it uses different data, so it uses like the B-knuckle stuff, so it's like a more traditional like Japanese like Nakamura style uh, suspension geometry. And so that's my plan is to work on that. So it's got an SR20, so it's got pretty it's similar data to that of Sujigiri uh, Lights cars, which is from the PS13 of the um, Sujigiri cars. And so, I don't know, just come in working away at it from time to time. So let me show you what I've done. You guys can see it. It needs a livery yet, but I'll probably put one of those on at some stage, like a super basic one. Or maybe we might even do that tonight. But um, let me just saw some things around and I'll open up custom sh uh, the showroom or something and I'll show you guys what the track, what the track, what? No, what the car looks like because I think it looks pretty, pretty sick. Um, where is it? Yeah, here we go. All right, doesn't want to work. Try it again. So yeah, this car, uh, yeah, we're working away at this from, from time to time. Haven't put too many hours into it. Um, it's basically just a, um, it's basically just a pro car, just slightly, the pro VDC car that we use, just slightly different. Um, here we go. But I think it came out pretty good. Uh, so let's open up this in showroom. Oh, we need some tunes, folks, don't we? We need some music. Let's move the chat over here. Uh, you got your first wheel right today. Nice one, Duck. What's up, Yeez Andrew? Or Andrew Yees. What's up? How are you doing? Andrew, love from Iceland. Well, hello, Iceland. Yeah, you're probably the closest guys to us. Well, we're the closest to ye. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I don't think I'm making any sense. Um, okay, let me share my screen. Oh, I just realized my background photo. Okay, I better change that. <laughs> uh, let me just... change that uh, it's nothing it's not like bad or anything it's just it uses a a different back uh long story short i won't go into too much detail uh are we live here as well we are too sweet okay awesome All right okay so let me show you guys this so how do i share my screen again desktop that's it right there you go so this is the s15 right so it's the streetcar version of it oh it's got the full pro livery on it right now i think i do have a version that doesn't have the livery Oh, that's Reese's livery. Um, wait, what? Wait, I thought I had a version that was just uh, blacked out. Wait, I can fix this very, very quickly. So uh, the person who put this model together, so I put the wing onto it. I did this myself. Uh, it's not that difficult, but uh, I, I, I could do with a better job. Like, look at this. Look at the texture of the. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Anyway, um, um. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty basic, right? But it's got the Spec R rear wing, which I think looks pretty sick on S15s, and it kind of gives it the street version of the car. Because, like, the, the, the pro version of the car, and we'll pull it in right now, add a new car, and we go here, and we go VDC Pro Drift, and we'll add in, we'll pull in my S15, my personal VDC car. And as you can see, like, they're basically identical. It's just differences that the rear wing, like, we've got... This wing is ridiculous. Like, this wing is huge. This is bigger than any BCL wing... Uh, and it's got two blades because why not? Because two blades are version one blade. Who cares? Um, but then the street car that we're putting together has, uh, you know, doesn't have the tire tags. Um, I'm going to go for a more traditional style livery. Um, 
with it because I think it's better to have more basic livery. I think it will look better. Uh, who's commenting? And does it have a two JZ? No, it's got an it's got an SR twenty. I don't. Know, where is your Twitch? Oh, good question. I don't know. Let me check. Is my Twitch not working? I saw people commenting on Twitch earlier. Yeah, it twitches up. Yeah, it twitches live right now. Why? It's just it's named Heinz, you know, uh, Augusto. We've uh, we've upped and changed. Um, let's read some comments. How are you doing, well, by the way, Augusto? It's been a while, man. Um, oh yeah, we need some tunes. Let me turn on some music, folks. Give me a second. Oh, I'll open up this again. Oh my God, why does it keep opening up on this screen? Uh, what should we play? Actually, I'll, I'll do Spotify. I'll do Spotify. We'll do... Uh, stream... Yeah, we'll do stream views. These are pretty good. Alright, that should be pretty chill. Uh, can you guys hear that? Can you hear that music? Or is it pretty quiet? Okay, that should be good. Alright, um... Your Twitch has been deleted. It hasn't. It's still there for me, man. It's just Heinzy. H-Y-N-E-S-E-Z. It's just Heinzy. You made your pro drift car livery. Are you pro car livery on Carrick's? Oh, sick. Thank you for that, Kelly. Make sure to tag me on Instagram, man. I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll share it. You keeping attack headlights? Yeah, I think so. I think they look pretty cool. Um, I want to change the interior. I want to remove the the uh, the rear radiator setup that um, Zach did for me, or JSI Mystified. So... If you're wondering, folks, um, so JSI Mystified and Ixie Rousey, or Darren Baker and uh, Zach O'Sullivan, put this car together for us. So, Joker Design did the Arjun Rajan kit. Then we went ahead and we went with a custom splitter setup. As you can see, it's, look, it's two splitters put together. If you guys see, look, it's like there's two levels to it, which I I think looks sick. It, it, it like, in a way, kind of gives a step, and I, I don't know, I think it looks a lot better than the original... Um, on the body you can get for it or like it's just a, another variation of it. it looks cleaner but it's kind of aggressive too makes it look lower um we then got our um what wheels are they uh 59 d001s 59 art wheels d01s um that were made by who were they made by i can't remember but anyway yeah so joker designed the Arjun kit and then everything else was put together i think it's got um yeah it's got a full interior and stuff it's pretty nice but it's not very um, streetcar-esque, if that makes sense. So I want to remove the rear radiator, so I put a full rear window on it. Um, maybe even remove the, the door bars and stuff out of it or something. I don't know. And clean up, just kind of make it a bit cleaner. I might get someone else to do that, though. I don't know if I can be asked doing that. And also, I remove one of the calipers from the rear, because why would you want dual caliper set up on a streetcar? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so let's just, let's just actually show you the coloring of this. Wait, did I pick the right car? And now let's just delete this. So, uh, wait, which car is which is the question? I don't know which this one is. I delete, oh, I deleted the right one. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, so I should have a new skin on this. I don't know why. Save as new. There we go. Um, I don't know why it had it as... Yeah, can we not modify current? Just change the color to just be full on black? No, does that not how it works? I'm going to have to go into the files and do that. Um, you have a question about wheels, you're losing G27, I got a 500 euro budget upgrade, uh, should I go for Trespass C6XW or Fanatic DD with 5 newton meters? Um, is it not notifying, dude, what is going on with the stream, dude? like, uh, wait. Augusto? Oh. There you go. What? What? Did I just see? Uh, hang on. I'm just starting out. We can turn that back on. Oh, that's, that one's broken. I need to clean up my uh, scenes. I don't really need this anymore. Okay, keep that up. Should I put that on? No, I don't think I'll bother putting that on. Okay, I think that's everything. Sorry. Um... What should you go for? Right, I get what you're saying. Sorry, so, so I got distracted there. Thank you, Augusto, for that uh, 
tier one. Uh, I can't I can't read what the message sent. What what did you say? Alan Cringe. What? Yeah, I need to turn on text to speech. I think a TT. What is it? A TTS. I think that'd be pretty funny. We'll turn it on sometime. Then you guys can do whatever you want. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, appreciate all the follows as well, folks, and the uh, and the tier one stuff from Augusto. Thank you for that, man. So, okay, um, okay. So your question about what wheel to go for? See, that's a good question, right? Because I think it depends on the ecosystem. The the Fnatic ecosystem is not as nice to get into, but once you're into it, you have to stay with it. Does that make sense? Um, so I think that's the question to ask, right? Because you can get into um, so the wheels cost the same. Let's just say. The Trustmaster ecosystem is, in general, cheaper, right? Because uh, you got much less to buy, um, and you can do a lot of stuff, not a lot of third-party stuff. Like uh, you can buy custom 3D printed adapters and stuff to be able to put custom wheels onto it, or you can buy custom shifter modifications for your Trustmaster shifter, for example. And you don't even have to use the Trustmaster equipment. You know, you just buy the steering wheel, you buy your custom rim, whatever. And you can put something together quite cheaply, and you can use the Logitech um, shifter and pedals. Uh, Fanatic stuff is a little bit more complicated because you're not really, you don't really have good options. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you've got, um, you can put their shifter, but you can't buy any modifications and their shifter is very, very expensive, but you wouldn't want to change that shifter, right? That's kind of where it's priced at. Uh, if you want to put a custom rim onto your Fanatic base, you have to spend a lot of money to put a custom rim onto it. So personally, if your budget is quite low, I would say... Um, I would say stay with the Logitech if you're if or say with the, sorry stay with the go with the Trustmaster just because of the fact that it's it's cheaper for you to get up and going um, but there's uh, you have to keep in mind that the uh, um, Twitch link in the YouTube description is the link to your old channel oh mm -hmm. yeah 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 that makes sense yeah I need to update all those links I need to update all those links I'll just do it right now yeah so um, that that uh Oh, shut up, Alan. Uh, yeah, and it's missing some other stuff as well. I have a new uh, Facebook channel as well for for streaming. To I need to share you show you guys that as well. So if you wouldn't mind following it, if you want to check it on Facebook, I don't even think there's anyone on Facebook watching right now because there's like zero people like that button there. Um, yeah, so I I don't know. It's a tricky one. Like if you if you know that if you have a job, let's say, and you know in a couple of months time you're gonna have another bit of money to put into your fanatic setup, I go with that. But like uh, personally, I would go Trustmaster just because it's cheaper to be to kind of get into the role of things. Um, that's just my opinion. Twitch. Oh yeah, Twitch is old. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Save. All right. That that link should be updated. No, nope. I need to fix that for uh, when I go streaming. Oh, Shut up, Alan. No one cares. YouTube Alan, all right, buddy. Thanks. Uh, fan English girl from Sweden. No worries at all, man. No worries at all. I bad English too, and I speak English permanently. <laughs> this is for your only language. What's up, Alexander? How are you doing? Any tips to get your level of AC drifting? Just practice, Andrew. I, I spend way too much time doing this, man. A lot of time. Um, but I think as well as that, it's how you approach it too. Like I feel like that there is like a certain um procedure does that make sense like a certain procedure to kind of getting good um i want to do a video on it because i think it's interesting but i think there's a lot of stuff i need to do first before making that video and i think you guys know what i'm on about <laughs> um let me just go into the set of course of folder oh wait hang on we can do it from here right i don't need to go there right one second folder All right, all right. Uh, why is the streetcar got the full body? Yeah, well, we'll let's delete that, right? Because we don't need that. Why does it have all the logos and stuff? Um. Cool. Okay, that should be fine. All right now we're back to the black chassis. I think it looks fucking. This looks pretty cool. I'll turn on the flakes because we don't need that many flakes. I'll just keep it whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking is something like something simple like this blacked out, and then the Proto of the Academy training cars, folks. 
they have like two stripes on the door like a green stripe here along the body line another lower one here at the bottom and uh, I think that'll be the streetcar livery and then um, yeah this car is an SR I think we'll go driving it now because I, I don't know I can't remember what I did to the data on this uh, modify current no save getting preview thank you um, When's the Heinz, Heinz Drift Academy starting? So, uh, soon, Jansen. I need to get it st started on that. Um, I have some uh, really good ideas, um, and it involves like um, um, involves like a Patreon and using the YouTube members stuff because like I have access to that. I can do that now. Um, and what my plan is is to um, create video content that is more catered towards. Um, people who are wanting to like improve their level so the first one is the car setup stuff right and um, I know the car setup video has been taking such a long time to get together and I'm sorry to everyone who's been looking forward to that or, or needing that but it's just been uh, I've redone that car setup video I'm not even kidding you guys like seven or eight times uh, I'd start it and then I'd start from scratch again and the reason being right and I've seen many other videos out there that do it and I'll be honest, I completely disagree with some of the stuff that they state in the video. Um, and I feel like a lot of the stuff that they're talking about is like way too vague, if that makes sense. So the way I want to do it, and I, and I originally did a video that was pretty detailed, like everyone else's video on car setup stuff, on, on the set of cars that is. Um, but the way I want to do it is I, I want to keep it simple. Like I want to tell you guys the exact values, pretty basically, that you guys need to use instead of instead of turning around and saying oh yeah if you think that the car understeers when you approximately go two percent in the corner when you're turning right uh you need to do this change because i feel like that's a lot of jargon right that doesn't really work for people so the way i want to do it is i want to turn around and say look if you're doing this you need to keep your numbers within this range and it could be you know like for example with camber let's go to camber here with this car with this car it could be anywhere between negative six degrees of camber and negative uh, five and a half degrees camber let's just say for example instead of turning on and saying oh yeah your camber the more camber that you add the more understeer that adds at this point and blah 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 because i think i feel like that's not what people want to hear they want to be told numbers um so that's the way i want to do it and that just takes uh, especially in the current vdc and dmvc season it's kind of hard to spend time with that but that's the way i want to approach it um the in-game tuning yeah i completely agree especially with dampers and stuff uh, alexander like they kind of state a lot like it says here the higher values make the car more reactive so if you look at the front bump here for dampers it makes the car more reactive giving you better feeling precision and stability uh and stability so like you know like that tells you a lot um and it even states here like look for a rear bump the lower values make the car more predictable but slower in reactions less precision when drifting but also more traction so like in theory if you set the rear bump to zero you'd have more traction and the set of course even states that and it, it is that is the case you know with a lot of things um so yeah the in-game tuning tips are really good people just don't want the, people just want values i feel like because if this worked if these values if these uh, statements worked and then i don't think people would would want a video um what's up quitchik how are you doing I've been watching IR drifting and virtual content really helps with comps. You do comps and car eggs. I uh, want to try a similar roof camp setup with scrubby doors like you. Thank you for the sick content. Appreciate that comment, Kelly. Hope you're doing good, my man. You need some tips on comps? You're, in your opinion, what are the best beginner cars in AC? Uh, best beginner cars are probably Sly Boys or Tender Buddies. Yep. I think that's what I feel like is the best uh, approach there. How much does it cost to get a custom car made by Joker Design? Uh, you're probably looking upwards of like $200 at least. It depends on how detailed you want to go. Uh, it's quite expensive for like a video game, but I think it's worth it to be honest because you're getting something that you actually want. What's up, uh, Booty Hustler69 with the follow. MSK Knight as well with the follow. Appreciate that, guys. Hope you're doing, hope you're doing good. Is, uh, is everything popping up on screen now? I know, chat. Like, are you guys seeing everything? Cam froze. Are you kidding me? No! Why does it always freeze, man? Why does it always freeze, man? Ugh. Oh, dude, that, that, and, and I still haven't fixed that, by the way. I don't even know why it freezes. It's pretty fucking annoying, I'll be honest. And look at, look at the pose I'm making. That's hilarious, isn't it? Right, okay, no more face cam. Goodbye, face cam. I wonder if the temperature related. Do you know, like, if the camera is getting warm, like, cause it's quite warm right now, and it just breaks. It, that's a nine. 
Sorry, chat. No more face cam. Um, Alright, okay. Let's do some driving. Okay, what the hell is just have to happen? And my steering wheel is not working. Freaking brilliant. Back into the freaking thing we go. Uh, obviously, controls. What's the controls thing? Oh, yeah, of course. Trustmaster defaulted my freaking steering wheel to, to yeah. Basically, the game is trying to tell me to use my shifter as my steering wheel. Appreciate that, uh, the set of Corsa. You guys are f fantastic. So we'll do some driving on, um, what cam is it? It's a Logitech stream cam. I'll be honest, this stream cam is a pain in the ass. It's a USB-C, so it's handy that way because I don't need to use up another USB slot. But it's, it, it's troublesome, man. Uh, and to be honest, I kind of wish I went with a higher quality light, uh, camera. I think for not much more money, for let's say maybe an extra 50 euros, because this is a 200 euro webcam. For an extra 50 euros more, I could have bought the, is it the Logitech Brio, which is a 4K camera, which would have made way more sense for the video content like side of things. Because um, I don't know if you guys ever watch YouTube videos and stuff, but I always feel like it's a bit pixelated. You know what I'm saying? It always looks a bit odd. Uh, I'm just going to turn this into performance mode because I don't know what my frame rate, frame rate is going to be like. So yeah, we're on uh, Mihan right now. We'll do some um, cockpit driving. Um, I did some data changes on this, I'm pretty sure. So I want to do some data changes on it. But I, I think... Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do that tonight. Alrighty, okay. Oh, this car drives so much differently than the VDC car. So much differently. It's actually hilarious. Uh, oh, neck effects is broken. You're right. That's why. It, wait, what? Why is my sh why is my neck effects broken? One second. Dude, uh, content manager has been really broken for me uh, today. Like it, it messed up my audio settings. I was trying to record some stuff earlier. Broke my audio settings. Um, yeah, it's literally, it's, oh my god. Yeah, ne neck effects is literally broken. All right, well, reset back. Thank you for spotting that one, Alex. I was like wondering why the thing felt kind of weird. And then the next thing I'm like, well, actually, Alexander makes a valid point. No, I didn't ditch neck effects. It's just broken. I don't know why it's broken. Um... What's the best way to get into virtual comps? I've done some with Shido a year or two ago, uh, but only got your setup back. Yeah, so Studio Gear is probably the easiest one right now, uh, Whack. Uh, I, I, uh, I searched them up. T-S-U-J-I-G-I-R-I. -I. That's a bit of a weird spelling of a name. Um, yeah, and that and that's probably the easiest championship. Like right now, it's the most open. Um, I don't know what way they're approaching it for this season. Is it fixed now? No, it's still broken. Why is it still broken? Oh yeah, change the same version to the latest? Yeah, but I've never had that issue before. Like, it was literally working fine earlier today. Unless I'm in the wrong camera. Why is it broken? Let me start up Content Manager again and see if that fixes it. Doesn't make any sense. I might have to hop into VDC currency. The change rendering mode? Oh, it's possible. Wrong view? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Rosie. Maybe, maybe I have the wrong camera. Um, yeah, Studio Gear is where, what I recommend with that one. Uh, the other one is DCGP, which is during the week. Uh, the change rendering mode. That's a good point. I might check that actually. Um, Because I was, I literally did a run like two hours ago, um, for a video, and it, it was working. Then. No, it's still broken. Maybe I'm in the wrong camera angle. Oh, it's still broken. Um, what would cause that? Am I definitely in the right view? Yeah, I'm definitely in the right view. 
Why should I have to? Re why? Don't see why. Yeah, I'll have to check the rendering mode. I think it's a good point, Alexander. Check. I'll check the rendering mode and see if that fixes. Come on! Oh my God! This thing takes fucking forever. Wait. What did I do? Maybe if I hold down shift or something, it might go faster. Let's try this again. Wait. There we go. Oh, my camera is still frozen. Yeah, fuck off, stupid camera, man. Hate it. Um, yeah, that's usually the issue. I'll double check that. Rendering. Yeah, dude, what is going on with my camera settings, dude? It completely changed everything. It said, what? Oh, man, I don't know. It set my um, frame rates to like 200 FPS. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that, that yeah, that was the problem. It was just the uh, okay. That was that was broken. One point seven three. Yeah, I'm one point seven five. Yeah, but you see, like, why? Uh, I don't know why Content Manager does that. Like, it resets a lot of things. It's stupid. Uh, is that dashboard public? Oh, dude, yeah, I need to release the dashboard. I need to finish it off. I need I need to make a proper list of stuff and just just like bash it out, bash it out. Yeah, we're back in business. But I think for now we're going to disable the dashboard because we already have one on screen. Look, it's a pretty poggers one as well. Look at that, what's the crack? And I need to turn off the driver hands as well. I've been meaning to do it. Here we go. Ready, chat? No, okay, okay. Spin. Let's 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 try, let's try again. You've had it reset the res zero, 0 by 0, what the hell? Dude, can't imagine some weird things, man. It breaks half the time, it's annoying. Right, here we go. Oh. This car doesn't like to break, though. It dives a lot in the front. It's a fast street car. Yeah, man, it's pretty quick. It's like, it's like 400 horsepower or something like that. It's not really a street car, to be honest. Let's be real. It's more of a, like a... Grassroots car, maybe, or if you want to get technical, it's like pro am car, maybe. I just don't want to. The only thing I don't like about this car is that when I brake, when I brake really hard, it sends a lot of weight to the front. Maybe I could do something with the dampers there to help that. Can't do any of the runs that I did before. Drives like your car pack. That's a beast compared to WDTS. Ah, it's not. It's way. This thing is like 450 horsepower or something like that. Maybe even more. Like I feel like there's a, a little. Um, there is a, like a little market. A, a market is the wrong word to say. Let's be real, but I feel like there is a thing for having uh, you know 400 horsepower plus. Uh, like. Drift cars. Because, like, WDTS is fun and all, but I, I, I don't know. You, you kind of can get boring too after a while.
Yeah, I need to turn off these hands, man. Jesus. Super distracting. Yeah, the second I put, uh, put a, any bit of brake pressure to the front, the car dies a lot. And it, like, rotates around. Pretty frustrating. So, Simbi Cuba VRS, it's actually Simagic. Simagic M10. It's getting dusty, actually. Increase the front bump. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. <clears throat> oh, I just drove into something. Right, here we go. Right, let's go back to the pits. Let's see what we can do. Right, um, then again, the car is pretty slammed at the rear. Um, could be a possibility too that maybe anti roll bar in the rear is too high. It's quite high. We're running no roll bar in the front. Uh, okay. <clears throat> running quite a bit of negative camber too. I could probably reduce that. I don't think we need that much negative camber because it does understeer a little uh, if you pitch it in wrong which is obviously not ideal um, running a bit too much positive camera in the rear too you could probably argue we'll drop that down a tiny bit okay so um i think i'm gonna up the fast bump on the rear and then i think i'm going to uh i think for now we'll experiment with higher front bump i want to mess with the fast bump too i feel like something in the rebound could be messed with too if it's the same rebound, if it's the same dampening as the VDC car that I have, which I'm not sure actually, I need to check, then I know what I need to do to make it work, but yeah. You need car external and aggressive like this. Hang on, let me turn this up, because I could do with turning this up, I don't need it that quiet. Unless you guys want to hear more, more of the music. Let's turn... I could probably do some sound extension stuff to this as well, I wonder. Shouldn't have downshifted there. The hands are so bright. They are a little, aren't they? Even the dashboard goes really bright too. I don't know what my graphic settings are doing right now. They're a bit weird. I need to update a lot of my stuff there actually soon. I need to do that tomorrow probably. Pedals, these are Fantex CSR Elites. They're inverted. They're like. I, I need to check when I bought these. These could be 20. I think I might have bought these in 2011. They might be 10 years old this year. Do the drift muscle layout. Watch that one back. That was a good one. There's always better cameras than this, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I said you really decided to break. I had to uninstall AC last time. Last time for custom car. Dude, that sucks. Hate to hear that happen, man. No, that was not the run. Where was the run that we did? It was really good. The car looks way too soft, to be honest. I need up the rebound, I think, on the rear and stuff. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's do some rebound stuff. 
Uh, what should we do? I think we we'll, ah, we'll go 20 for now. I think that's gonna start. We can get better at tandems. Tandems are tricky, man. I think it's just a matter of just driving with people and trying to figure out. We got some spammer in chat at the moment, uh, or some scam artists. I don't know. Um, yeah, tandems. I don't know. Training how the tandem is tricky. You need someone that's good um, at, at kind of like bringing you around the place. I suppose someone good to chase. And um, I don't know that's kind of hard to find. Because um, yeah, I suppose people kind of do their own thing, right? Actually, that feels immediately better. Vom that red. Okay, I assume that's a spammer. What? Why? Why would you say vom that red or dang? No. All right, here we go. Let's do a run. That's a good one. Um, yeah, you have to kind of look up. Yeah, did your face cam die? Yeah, it froze again the fast. It froze again. Oh, we're going way too fast. Yeah, I think so, the fast. I, I don't know. Is your Brio a USB or USB C? USB 3.0, yeah. It's my problem, I don't have many USBs left. Do I have the timing all wrong for this? Good night, Jock! <clears throat> I don't really know if there's much data to be changing this. Maybe I don't need to change any data at all. I'm gonna do somewhat something similar to the VDC. Uh, maybe. Trying to get into sim drifting, uh, I'd say, well, it depends first of all, right? Like, so if you know that you like drifting on a, on a set of cars or drifting in games in general, like Fords or something like that, or Car X, then I think you should probably save your money and buy something like a Trustmaster T300 at minimum. If you're not really sure if drifting is your thing, like you're not really sure if you like drifting or something like that, you've no ex prior experience really, going with something like a Logitech might not be a bad idea because it's a little bit cheaper um, to get into and it kind of gets the job done, but I would say that that's only if you're on a strict budget. Uh, for the most part, you'll be better off with the uh, the Trustmaster T300 at the minimum. Um, I don't know what you can buy for T300 anymore, what kind of money they are, but...
Get a USB hub. Uh, USB hubs and cameras don't really work that well, to be honest, Titus. I don't really like it. I have done it a few times before, and sometimes they just don't fuse to work. Like, I have a powered USB hub, and I think I have... Uh, this camera right here plugged into it. Is it that one? It has to be that. No, it's the foot cam. It's plugged into that one. So I should probably get another one of those, to be honest. I need to kind of clean up my setup, honestly. the model for upon the public s15 oh yeah for anyone who's joining in you probably haven't seen um <clears throat> what this mod looks like i'll show you guys in a second so this is the street version of the vdc car i suppose street because it's not really street really it's probably like a there we go that's the flick i was looking for not the uh technique wise not the most perfect but i think it's pretty good let's watch that one back so this is a streetcar for anyone watching, uh, or hasn't seen it yet. There we go, that's the kind of flicky kind of want to do. I think this car looks fucking sick. You kind of leave the wall a little early, it doesn't sit there, but... So yeah, that's probably me. Mods? I have no mods live fast. That's my problem. Alright, chat, we're gonna change the track, Leo. We've got something else. Uh, let me just fix up the fucking... Uh, oh, frozen camera alert. There we go. Face cam. Wait, what? Oh, we've got two face cams. Where's the other face cam? Jesus. Where's the other face cam? Oh, there we go. Turn that one off. Um, one second. There, right, guys. Let me just... With the follow, who followed us? Rema with the follow, appreciate that Rema, how you doing my man? Oh fuck. Wait, I just clicked to reply, I didn't do it. Chat, I've been so out of this game that... Uh... Ban. Baden on G, G Fuel, is that how like these spam accounts are going? Um... That they're doing that type of stuff now. They're just like creating actual names. <laughs> they're getting they're getting smarter, eh? Uh, I think I want something else Japanese. Some Tuge? We could do as Tuge. You did know you didn't follow. I'm sure that's probably the case for many people. Like following on Twitch isn't really that important, is it? it doesn't really stand to anything. Like there's people that with millions of followers and they have like a couple hundred viewers at most. That's kind of nearly more embarrassing than having like 10 followers and having 5 viewers, you know what I'm saying? Maze! Oh, good shout! I like E. I don't know if this is a good version. Does anyone have a better version of Maze? You look through the AC section. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I kind of do the same, to be honest. Good suggestion, Edmart. <coughs> That's why you're a shit judge. <laughs> Psych! Ah, jeez, guys, I'm so funny, aren't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just make fun of judges, why not? I don't even think there has ever been... Oh, there was that one, or Behaku. A good version of Behaku. I think we need some good versions of those. Because they're good tracks. 
They just need to physically be updated. Like, shaders-wise. Like, uh, what's the sh um... Last. I better actually save that setup. Who would the follow? Uh, Damix would the follow. Appreciate that. We're doing good, my man. Well, I think the track... Well, I mean, the track looks good. This is from R Factor, by the way, guys. Like, I remember this track being released for R Factor and being like... Oh, oh, oh it's sick, bro. Sick. I mean, for R Factor tracks, though, like, they are really good. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do some grip racing. Save this. No! It's got too much side grip. Uh, it's running Sujigiri hards, I'm pretty sure. Right, so let's do like a video option style. It's called Drift Race, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Recommended shoes. Yeah, I get a lot of comments, especially on Instagram, about my socks. I, I don't, I don't see what the problem is with them, to be honest. <laughs> oh, this car's got way too much grip for this. This track. Yeah, there is not so like th those versions of the track, especially the first wall version and the first OSW were leaked. Um, were leaked, so it is possible to find them. Um, I don't really recommend downloading it because it's unfair on the guy who made it. The new OSW, um, uh, the new OSW is sick. Uh, sorry, no, the new uh, Wall Stadium is sick. That joke did. Uh, with the YouTube sub, Faisal, appreciate that, my man. Um, I feel that these tires... Wait, you know what the VDC tires? Or the... Yeah, it's like as if they kind of... Oh, what the hell? Did I just break something? Car responds so aggressively to steering input. Oh. Right, let's do a flying lap to see how fast we can do. Car's good, both response. Oh, we're running wide again.
Uh, Sujiguri wants Idris give it to us back. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Do we have replays in this track? Oh, we do. Are they any good? Okay, let's do watch a full lap. No, I, I see what you're saying. I think, yeah, I think we kind of lack some grippy, like, grassroots style tires. The small boat. Oh, locking up the inside wheel. I know we're grip, uh, we're grip driving this first half of the track. Oh, that car is really good over the bump. Got our damp dampers nearly set on point. This engine sounds incredible. Running a bit wide there. Over the inside curb. Banging through the gears. It's third. Fourth. Fifth. <laughs> snap it hard. Ready? Okay, it wasn't that much of a hard snap. Yeah, that guy's got way too much grip for the mother power has. Um, wh where is Whitley? I haven't seen him stream in a while. Then again, I don't really keep an eye on the uh, section, on the streaming section. Uh, yeah, but Livas, you say that though, but like, the... Uh, you say that right, but like, Sujigiri, uh, Su um the real life Nakamura S13 would have 265s on the rear and he would be running 200 treadwear, probably even 160 treadwear tires. So it, to me it either feels like they have still too much, a little bit too, still a little bit too much grip. Um, uh, or something else is going on. That was never gonna work. Let's try something else quickly. Let's try another track. Uh, AC, yeah, it's ACDR for sound, but it uses. Um, I'm just showing. Let's go to that one. But it uses ACDR for sound, but it's using the engine from Sujigiri S13. I think it's using. Wait, I can confirm. No, I don't want to change car. Let's go to content. Oops, you just got a sneak peek or something there. Uh, where's Sujigiri? There we go. Lights. Wait, what? Why does that pop up? That's weird. Oh, two 3000 GTO. Mm, I like GTOs. Uh, so it uses the engine from Mickey's car, I'm pretty sure. It has a 461 horsepower. 461 horsepower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the engine it uses. Because if I go back to my one, Road Drift, where's a streetcar? Dude, I have so many. Look how many, look how many of these cars are. Yeah, it's 461 horsepower. So yeah, it uses the engine from Mickey's. Mickey's Sujigiri car. So I've just yoinked a bunch of that from different cars. I hope they don't mind. Um, okay. I don't mean it like that. Um, what other track can we try? <gasps> Mobara. Mm. Wait, do we have new? We have a new Mobara, don't we? Is this it? Chad, is this newest Mobara? No, you have to buy it, don't you? Oh shit! I have to do Mobara sometime. I love, I'll be honest, folks. Mobara is my favorite track. Like this is a version that I had made uh, for our factory years ago, and I finally got it to AC. I didn't really do much with it. Then this version came out was pretty good, and now there's a newer version again, which is sick. Um, this I think this track's good. It's cheap. Yeah, I need I need to I need to buy it. I think someone leaked it to me, but I, I'm just gonna pay for it because I feel like they deserve to. Oh my god, this thing, yuck. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. These these cars. Try cannot stop. I don't want to do any VDC tracks because I don't. Well, I don't. I might do cannot stop. I don't feel like this car has the power for those type of tracks. This track is good though. I like this one. You can do some pretty snappy stuff, and I, I can. I think I can drive through here. Yeah, I can do. Yeah, I, I know this track too well. Does this car have underglow? I can't remember. Oh, it does! Baller. Oh. 
god, we're drifting. Oh, I got too wide again. Oh my god. Oh, sick. Zinky, appreciate that wanted. You know what that car is, huh? I actually want to do something um, different on the real car, and I don't know if I'll do it this year. But the, the real car, so that S14 will always remain Zinky, I'll never change it. I'm thinking of uh, the new car going kooky, or maybe going 180 SX front end or something like that. Why are we getting a bunch of spammers in chest? Fuck the nine. Need to warm the tires up. Manji hero here boys, let's go hard. S15 front? I was thinking, if I was to do that, I feel like I'd do the whole car at 15. Like front and rear. A bit like James Dean's. But I would like to nearly... If I was to do that, I'd nearly try and make a piece for the roof to make the S15 windows work. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you could make the S14 look more like an S15 if you change the uh, rear window shape. Because you could do that with S14, in theory. But then that kind of loses, the, that kind of like almost ruins the dignity of the S15 in small body if you're making that version of a car look that weird, you know? Take an eternity to heat up to be better. Yeah, that's true. Top three S ch uh, chassis for competition, in your opinion? S13, S14, S15. No, um, um, I think, okay, let's look at it this way, right? So obviously the S chassis, we'll just say the S chassis is just one, one car, right? Because they technically are quite similar. And I think the reason why those cars are so good is because of how easy they are to drive and how much knowledge is around them. Like the BMWs have improved a lot in terms of drivability and stuff over the years and knowledge. That's because like people have just spent years uh, perfecting them and stuff. So obviously the BMW is up there right now and especially with how cheap they are considering the cost for performance. It makes way more sense to build a uh, BMW than it does uh This car steers so nice. Than it does to build um an S chassis. Um, what else? We still have to pick another car. I think a Mark IV Supra, to be honest. Mark IV Supra, I think, is an underrated car as well. Expensive car, unfortunately. There's something really big in it. Oh, the GT86? Yeah, uh, actually, maybe the GT86 over the Supra. That's a good point, actually. Like GT86, I think, again, is underrated. Well, no, it's kind of getting better, right? Like, more people are starting to pick it up. I'd nearly build a GT86 myself, to be honest, but it's just... Um, I think for me right now... Um, I think for me right now, with the competition stuff that I do in the real world, I'm better off staying with the... Uh, still uh, better off staying with the S-Chassis, just to perfect it. Because I haven't really had a chance to... 
perfect it to the point and, and master that car really. And the last thing that I, I think someone in my position should be doing is trying to develop a chassis, I'm spending tons of money trying to develop a car. But yeah, I think okay, that's a good point. BMW E36, E46. Let's just say they're the same thing. Any of the S chassis and. The GT86, BRZ, GR86, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, it's drove across the grass. E92, yeah, the E92 in VDC is interesting. Personally, I don't really like how it drives, the public pack. Uh, obviously, um, I did some setup stuff with Heinze. You know, HZ setups, chat. Check it out, Heinze setups. We have setups for a bunch of cars and stuff. Plug. <laughs> Thank you for the plug. Um, and I've managed to make the car drive much better there. Uh, but um, it's definitely working out for Darius and um, Ericus. They're doing really good with the car at the moment. Uh, the F22 Eurofighter, I think, is a really good car as well. Probably even better than the E92. I don't know why. It just drives so much more stable and stuff. But now I'm going to do a series about tuning pro car. Yeah, so this is something I was kind of talking about all earlier, Abra. Uh, so my reasoning for taking so long with it is that I've actually made the video like several times, like seven or eight times, and I've deleted every single one of them. And the reason being is that like I've watched all the previous videos that people have made and the advice that they've given, and I don't necessarily agree with all the pieces of advice and tips that they give. And the videos are all like 30 minutes long, so it's like you're literally watching them talk how to set up a car but they're literally just reading the setup diagram like I show it to me like they're literally going here and they're saying uh, oh my god it's 40 liters of fuel no wonder this thing is hard to drive or wavy they're going here and they're literally kind of describing what's here on the tab on the right like they're saying oh camber makes less grip here more grip there for me personally the approach that I want to take is a video where I tell you guys the exact value range you need to be for camber and you just stick to that and you just tweak it so that you know it's within this range and you tweak it so that if it feels better this value then you know not to go to the lower value you know what i'm saying it kind of narrows it kind of narrows down um your approach to setting up a car so you know like here for example like this car has negative three or you can go all the way up to negative 10 degrees of camber right so there's like freaking many different ways you can set up the front camber here but i would make a video that would basically say to you guys oh yeah you want to keep your camber between anywhere between like like, uh, I don't know, we'll just say for example, 6 degrees and 5 degrees. So now you know when you go to set up your particular car that has a similar setup or you go to drive this particular car, for example, you know to keep that camber in that range and it narrows down where exactly you want to keep your camber when you're driving it and you know what, what feels better. I think that's the best way to do a video like that. So that's what I want to do. And that's going to take some time because as of right now, I'm super busy with DMVC and VDC. Um, but I do plan on getting there and so... Um, I think it'll be worth it once it's ready because uh, the video that I was making and I was halfway through it was actually pretty good but it was just it was just um, yeah I, I just didn't w I wasn't happy how I was relaying the information what spring rates are you running uh, well in this car Edmar generally on the front it's like uh, 90 to 100 or something like that and on the rear like 39 or 49 This is my signature car. So this is the, um, this is right here is our, or is our street car. I say it's a street car because it's not really, let's be real. It's more like, um, like a pro-arm car or something like that, or like a grassroots car or a demo car, maybe you could say. But our VDC S15 has the same body kit, has the same wheels, the same, everything, same interior. The difference is that we've got, um, we've got a spec R wing here in the rear of it. I don't know why, it looks weird from an angle. Does anyone know why this, this, there's a weird shader here? Am I doing something wrong here? Maybe I just need to send it to one of the guys and they fix it. Fix it for me. Thanks, please, thanks, goodbye. Um, but the difference is that this has a different database. So instead of running like um, a lower caster, like VDC setup. Wait, there's something weird going on with the headlights, is there? No, there isn't. Uh, it runs more of a traditional um, high caster, like I suppose Nakamura style setup. Um, and that's what this car runs. How come nobody runs? They are actually unviable compared. Unviable. Sorry, Z, you don't get what you're saying. The S15s, S14s. Yeah, exactly, Titus. Yeah, so that's one thing I want to change. I want to change the rear, um, 
rear radiator setup that was done by Zach. He did an amazing job. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but I've actually removed all the rivets from most of the windows, like even on the front. There used to be all rivets on the front window and stuff. I removed all that. But what I'll probably do is I'll probably keep the cage. I'll probably end up um, maybe putting an interior back into it or something. Um, probably keeping most of this stuff. I don't know. Probably end up keeping most of this, to be honest, because I don't really think it needs much. But definitely remove the rear radiator setup because I don't think it needs it. I think it'll look better without it in this particular setup. Is that a private car? Yeah, it'll be private for now. I do think... I do... Oh, I just, fuck it. I've been meaning to release the um, the public... Uh, the, not the public, but the S15s publicly. I just... Yeah, I just need to... I need to create a list of things because a bunch of things I need to do. Like, I need to release this dash. I need to finish it off and release it. Uh, I need to do a video on the 59 Art Wheels stuff because they've officially released their wheels publicly so you can download and put them onto your set of cars. So I need to do a video. Um... Uh, yeah, that's not a bad show, to be honest, Ed. Like, I think... Like, it rolls around a lot in the rear, so maybe... What the fuck did I just do? I hate when F5 camera does that. It's really annoying. It does some weird stuff sometimes. I think what I need to do is it rotates a lot in the rear, so it's probably the rear bump that I need to fix or, or increase the rear spring rate. And the roll bar is quite high as well in the rear. Probably doesn't need to be that high in reality. Um... I think what we'll do, right, let's let's experiment. Let's go quite a bit on the rear bump, fast bump that is, and let's see what that does. And then we'll try the rear bump as well. I kind of want to keep the tire pressures low so I can just get more laps out of it. Need Sylvia badges? Pro uh, that's not a bad shout actually. But then this has got an origin body kit and they don't really have areas with badges on it, you know? Uh, Sleepy with a follow that... Uh that, uh, wait, what? That low Mango with the sub on YouTube sub, appreciate that. Uh, Fizz, Fizzy, not fun with the follow or with the YouTube sub as well, appreciate that, guys. Welcome. Oh my god. Okay. Where's the webcam? The webcam froze. Oh my god, I think... Yeah, the web webcam froze earlier, so I just disabled it. So where is it? This one? There you go, see it's frozen. I'm doing some weird pose. Yeah, I need to get a new webcam. I bought this webcam and it's actually a waste of money. Only feet. Did I, I should make that the other webcam, it's just the feet up. It, 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 uh, just like... <laughs> instead of having like a steering wheel cam, and uh, a face cam, just have three feet cams, <laughs> one for each foot. <laughs> Clutch, no, wait, what? I don't have three feet, what the heck? Probably a bit more. Um, oh, we're dead. Oh, fuck, that'd be a crash. Right, let's try a different track. That track is fun. Actually, let's watch a replay of it quickly. Is there a replay cameras in this one? Oh, I think there might be. Wait, is there cameras? Or is it just one camera? I don't know. Keep it on for a small bit. Um, never seen any JSX in VDC. There is a few, there is two or three. Uh, I think, um, oh, Brandon, Brandon, oh, is it Brandon Joseph? I think it's Brandon Joseph has one. He's a, he's a chaser with a Mark II front end. Oh my God. That bump. And I think there's someone else that owns one as well. Or he might be the only one actually. Um, but that's about it. Yeah, you're right though. There's not many. Oh, Brandon Williams. There we go. Brandon Williams. I'm thinking of someone, I'm thinking of another brand that competes in DCGP. 
Are you going to make a video on how to download mods to Ciro? Uh, probably not, to be honest, William, because there's lots of those videos already on, on what to do and stuff. Unless, unless people really want it, but I, I don't really see the, the uh, I don't really see that being worth the effort. I'm sure there is a channel though that I can recommend to people if people are looking for that. I'll probably set that up on the Discord actually. So if you want to join the Discord, guys, just do exclamation point Discord, and then that will allow you to um, join a Discord from there. And then what that will do is, uh, yeah, you can keep up to date with what we do. A lot of stuff. What am I doing? Driving around like a freaking Nancy. Oh my god, that was a crazy initiation. You almost went JZX? Yeah, but you were Lexus size 215. You went S14 afterwards, didn't you? Right, let's do one more track. Well, it's fun. Uh, what be a modern JZX? Yeah, it's basically an RCF, I'd imagine, right? Ow, my knee. I only had a GP5 wheel. I want to upgrade to something high spec. Uh, Trustmaster T300 is probably the best bang for buck. Depends on your kind of budget, though. Uh, right, what track should we do? Um... What should we do? Should we do Primring? Or Pinsk? Or Wara? What? Wait, I don't remember this track. I want to do something Japanese. Oh my god, that's a private track that I don't think anyone has ever seen before. Ukubuki. U Ukuibuki. Ukui. You could kind of say it quite weirdly if you wanted. What should we do? That Lexus, that Lexus was pretty fun, to be honest. That looked pretty fun. I don't think it was slow, Alexander. Owara? Yeah, I was looking at it. I think... I f pretty much, I think we'll try it. I've, I don't think I've ever driven on this. I've had the track for ages. I've never driven it. Oh, Daiba. That's not a bad shout. The car was so... A lot of fun. What's up, Jordan? How are you doing? Well, I was slow enough. I don't think you were, Alexander. I would like to see... Your, your, you see, the thing with your Lexus, though, it was hard to actually chase it because it was so big and because you're on lower rotation, it means that, like, um, you could never really aim for your door. Does that make sense? Like, if you if you went for the front door and then you went to transition, you would we would instantly hit you. So, like, it was actually... Yeah, oh my god, just crashed into the wall. Like, oh, come on, reverse, where is it? I think I'm actually heading the wrong direction, now that I look at it. Oh my god, okay, we'll go this way, so it's dead. Oh, we could go on Tamara, guys. Uh, GR Garage Life. Oh, I think I know this track. It's like Sugo, but it's not Sugo. Not a bad, not a bad first step. You see the thing, the thing with like four door cars, they always throw people off like where to aim for. Like there is a little knack, like there is a little trick to chasing four door cars because like everyone aims for the front door, right? But on a four door car, you don't want to do that. Oh my god, bump! Let's just drive straight, shall we? Uh, I have a Discord, yes! Exclamation point Discord in chat, Kelly. 
I should bring you to the correct discord or you can check the description oh you're in twitch yeah go down to the cards down below I should bring you to the discord oh my god this track is uh, really interesting I have to figure it out on my S14 I actually have a few vlogs on my YouTube channel there. Shoulder blades, that's not fun. That's like, yeah, that's not fun. Sorry to hear that, <laughs> Jordan. How'd you find the best gear ratio for tracks? There's little, there is, um, it kind of depends a lot on the type of car that you're driving and what you're trying to do, right? Like, if it's a competition car, it's generally going to be much longer. If it's like a street car, like this car, you want it to be shorter because you've got less power. Um, so yeah, there's a little trick to them. Oh. But what I usually do is, and I'll show you. What I usually do is I use the speed here. So this is in kilometers, by the way, right? Um, but I use speed as an indicator. So, for example, if you have a, a pretty 160 kilometers, right, which is fork gear, which is mostly used for this track, this is about 100 miles per hour, for anyone wondering. So, this is 100 miles per hour, this is about 30, 30 miles per hour. Uh, that's like 60 miles, it's like just under 60, just above um, 50, because 50 is 80 kilometers, and 100 kilometers is 60, so it's like, I don't know, what, 55 maybe? Um, 130, that's. Wait. Yeah, okay. No, I've got the maths wrong. Never mind, ignore it. Either way, right? Setting up gearing is quite simple. So it's like, you know, you've got a high number here, which is your final drive, and you've got a low number. And you can see immediately your speed increases depending on the gear ratio that you select, right? So essentially what you want to do is you want to have your, your the gear that you want to use the most, which is either third or fourth, generally. Um, you want that gear to be enough so that, like, you know, you're not, like, hitting off the rhythm limiter constantly. But you don't also want to be in the middle of the river range because you're not utilizing all of the power that you have. So you need to tweak your main gear, which for me is generally either third or fourth. It could be fifth or sixth, depending on the car. It could be first and second, depending on the track. Um, to be a, a high enough speed, that you're able to maintain angle and maintain drift, but not too high of a speed that you can't even get into a drift, if that makes sense. So it's tricky. There is no particular value for it. It's kind of loosely based between a range um, and that range is highly dependent on the type of car that you drive and stuff like that got work for the morning all good my man yeah we'll we'll um we'll do a public server in the future i just didn't really want to do one tonight because uh, i'd have to change a lot of stuff and i need to fix that server up as well and uh, my computer right now is not in the greatest of shapes so if you guys uh if you guys kind of like these private streams you know where it's kind of more I don't know, just chill driving and stuff like that, trying something different. Maybe we might do this more often. Maybe next time we'll um, try a different car. I might see if I can get some people to send me some models and stuff that I can like make a private car out of. So like maybe next time we might do a chaser or something like that. We'll try and make a street version of a chaser or something. I don't know. We'll, just, we'll see. That works. Oh, understeer. Okay, I want to do one more track before I head off. Because, uh, yeah, it's getting later. I've got work in the morning. Okay, so um, that track is interesting. Oh, I was on the wrong screen the whole time. Sorry if there was lagging for that, folks. Was it lagging for you guys? You 530 horsepower into it. 
I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Oh my god. I'm gonna do set a night. Set a night guy. Set a. Was that car made from complete stra uh, um, from scratch? It wasn't really. It was actually. Um, actually, I don't know. I I assume some bits and pieces of it aren't made from scratch from like from other games and stuff. Uh, the body kit itself was was made by Joker. He made a body kit. Um, but it's actually like the the car is actually for. The car is originally made uh, out of this one, right? It's made for you know this S15, this the VDC car that we use. But the difference being that I just replaced the rear spoiler and I just obviously changed the livery, brightened the wheels and stuff like that, just to make it more like street car. It even still has the same description as well from the um, the pro car. It's even like it's even it's a street 420. Um, so yeah, that's just, it's just called street car. It's not really a street car. It's probably more high spec than that. DSG interior, a uh, Joko body. You know more than me, Livast. <laughs> you building cars? Not really fuzzy. I just like messing with shit. I like messing with data and stuff. That's kind of like the stuff that I like to mess with. I don't really create data from scratch. So I just use, let's say, Chris's um, or, or VDC, uh, Chris Wotowski's or VDC's data. And I just tweak it to kind of suit my own style of driving that I'm looking for. And that's what I like to do when I'm tweaking cars. I can do basic 3D stuff. Like I put that spec R wing on the S15. Like I can do basic stuff. Um, but I don't like doing, um, creating cars from scratch. I don't think I'd have the patience for that. Chat, what am I looking for? Set a night guy. Where is it? I'm f blind, aren't I? I nearly cursed. There we go. There, that's it. All right, let's do this. The few laps of this, I don't think I'll bounce off in. But yeah, so any, any questions you have, guys, make sure to throw them in chat right now and we'll try and get some. Pretty chill, chill stream, to be honest. I kind of like this. What would you recommend for a beginner budget car right now? Look for a fox body Mustang. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know much about the Mustangs, if I'm honest. They don't, we, we don't really have them over here. Uh, set a night guy, Ed. But yeah, we don't really have them over here. Um, but I, I, to, what I say to people is, right, it's whatever... Like, for example, if you're from Sweden, or like... I don't... Let's just say Sweden. You're probably better off starting off in a Volvo, right? Like, because that's where that car is originally created. So there's plenty of them there. Um, if you're from the UK, you're probably better off in something like... Um, Oh my god, the map. What's going on with the screen? It's pretty broken. If you're if you're from the UK, you're probably better off with something like a BMW. Same with Germany. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, wherever you're from, there are cars that are more popular than others. So if you're probably from the States, probably like a 350Z, to be honest, let's say. Um, going on with the, the sky in the background you're from the US yeah I'd say 350Z or something or even a Mustang like you said is probably pretty pretty accessible right so you answer, when it comes to cars in the US it's, you actually have a lot of options because you kind of have BMWs you've got yeah you have kind of a lot of options you don't really have that our options are a little bit limited in the uh, in Europe, unless you're from like Russia or somewhere where you've got Volvo uh, Ladas. Because like in Ireland, we've got the B Volvos, we've got the BMWs, we've got very little thrift disease. There's not many Zs available in Ireland, especially that are cheap. The Blitz kit would be sweet. Ice 300s, yeah, stateside had the Ice 300s as well, but the, the engines of those are probably skyrocketing those cars. I think a GT86 would be pretty fun, to be honest. Even with the the BRZ engine, with the boxer engine, would be pretty sick. Because there's a pretty good sound for a boxer engine. This car is driving really nice right now. Okay. What car did I learn to drift in? Uh, 328 BMW E36. But that was 2009, and those cars had very little knowledge, especially in Ireland with BMW. So I didn't keep that long. I sold it and bought an S chassis. An S14, the current one. 
But I mostly started on the um, on games like Forza and stuff, guys. Like I started off on Forza 4 or like Forza 2, really. That's where I got into. Uh, Into the side of drifting. And before I actually drifted in real life, or before I bought a car in real life, uh, I went and did the Project Academy in 2009 when I was like 13 years old. And then I knew then I was able to, like, what, what I learned on the video game worked. Um, I actually had Dean Carney as my instructor that time. The worst drift instructor you could ever ask for. Sorry, Dean, but it's fact. He spent more time on the phone chatting to women than he did teaching. <laughs> Any plans for real life comps this year? Yeah, yes, Fuzzy, for sure, man. Um, we'll have to wait and see, though, because. So. Has it been confirmed? Do you, I, I won't be able to do the UK in BDC because they have a new ruling that stops me from competing, basically. And it's down to tires, so you can probably assume what it is, but I can't run. I'm sponsored by uh, with a partnership with V2 Tires. And the rule basically doesn't allow our tire to compete in it, which kind of sucks. So I'm kind of limited to only like Driftmasters and Ireland in... in um, in Europe, at least. Oh, that works. This track is fun, I like it. Car snaps way too hard there, I feel like. Freewheeling. Yeah, I would love to do BDC. Like I, I've been planning to do full season of BDC for the last couple of years, but it just it just never worked out right. Like it's just last year was it was the pandemic, and the year before that, well, the year before that and last year was the pandemic. Realistically, that stopped us from doing anything. This is a set of Nikei. Uh, you say that, Aid, but there's only like four drivers between Ireland and the UK that have like a tire deal. Like Bagsy, myself, and James Dean, uh, Martin Richards, maybe. I don't know if Martin Richards is responsible for Lino anymore. So, like, there's not many drivers that actually have a sponsor. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the Shannons don't have a tire sponsor. I don't believe McKeever is sponsored by Trius anymore. Like, the, 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 the times of having tire sponsors are kind of gone, to be honest. It's probably because of the pandemic and cost of containers and stuff like that has gone through the roof. Um, yeah, DMEC was Valino, but I believe it's not a control tire. It's, it's massively encouraged, but, like... But to my understanding, I, I could still I could still compete in DMEC if I wanted to with with the Vitor. Oh crap! Uh, Kendon Westnick. Oh, that's possible, Ed. Yeah, that is true. But I feel like I don't think they were actually tire deals. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like a lot of people. So when I, when I say Vitor, I'm saying like Vitor to me. Um, as I say this with a Falcon logo on the background. Let's move on screen here because we're talking about Vitor. Uh. Vitor to me, I'm looking at the camera while I'm saying this, but there's no freaking camera. Vitor to me are like, you know, I get, um, I get a really good deal on, right? Like it's a partnership to me, it's a proper sponsor, it's worth me keeping them. Does that make sense? And they help me out a lot, and I really love the support that they give. Uh, but a lot of those other brands that are sponsoring drivers, they don't, they only give like a discount. And so to to what the cost of this control tire that they're running, uh, BDC are running to, is actually probably cheaper than them, it's cheaper for them to run the uh, control tire 
there probably is to buy those tires. And they don't need to have any strings attached, kind of a thing, you know? Now, ideally, that doesn't help, right? Because, like, in the future, if that relationship with that tire brand grew, um, that's now gone, right? Because you can't use that brand anymore, because, you know, that's the only negative side of it. And that's the that's probably the thing that sucks the most really is that like any previous relationship you have with a tire brand is now gone regardless if you are saving money on them or not oh really oh okay i don't know i only know four or five drivers ed to be honest and i'm not talking proper deals i'm not saying drivers who have discounts or anything like that Like, the only people in the UK I feel like actually have tire deals, and I mean deals as in getting tires for free, I feel like are the likes of Bagsy, it's probably the only one. Like, who else? Bagsy. A lot of them have logos inside of the car, but I feel like it's not a proper deal, it's only like a discount. Which might hinder them, the fact that they're not getting a discount anymore. But I feel like the cost of the control tire is probably the same as what they were getting those tires at a discount price. That's what I'm kind of saying. So in that, in, in, from that perspective, it's not really screwing them over. It just means that they're not changing the random tire that they're using. Alright, I'll do a few more runs here. Okay. Any plans for S14? Yeah, so Evo 1 right now, which is the current S14 that's uh, still driving, is going through another refresh. So when we put the car together last year, it, just, it wasn't necessarily uh, finished really. It was kind of rushed together. But now we're going, excuse me, we're doing some proper nice upgrades to it. Um, so I got a new turbo manifold for it, so that should help us allow, allow us to get a bit more power. We got turbo smart wastegate as well to be put onto it. Um, 60 millimeter wastegate, a uh, whole new fabrication of the intercooler, um, electric water pump as well for the uh, cooling, better cooling setup for, for the front as well. What else is there? There's something else as well. Probably, we'll probably need to make it more power, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know, just, just proper refresh, man. Just finishing off the car, really. Try to have it out for maybe like April for practice to get used to it and stuff. Because I, I've done, I haven't driven much in real life in the last couple of years. I probably have a, a probably a total of an hour's track time in the last four years in the real world. And I really noticed it when I was doing IDC last year, the two rounds that I did. I was definitely a bit um, rusty. Like, not in terms of technique or anything, but just aggression and comfortability. Yeah, the car looks great. It needs a proper refresh as well of the bodywork. That's another thing as well. Fresh wrap. Favorite track IRL? I don't know, I haven't really driven much tracks. There was one track. Oh, Watergrass Hill, I suppose, really. It's my local circuit. It's a track that uh, you see James drive a lot in, on.
It's called Selenike. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, probably not. Oh, we're done. Jeez, don't knock bricks like that. Is there a name of it? Oh no, there isn't. Let's watch a few of those runs back, and I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, it's called Set Seto Naikai. Oh, the camera is weird. Yeah, the car looks really good over bumps and stuff now. This is where we crash. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Alrighty, yo. Uh, chat, I think we're going to leave it there for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, old school circuit, really old vids of this one. Yeah, it's really old school. Southern Light Guys, but it's his name, by the way. Uh, can you guys see that? Should be able to see it, right? Seto Naikai. I think that's the right way I pronounce it. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there for tonight, chat. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I streamed for a little bit longer than I was expecting, to be honest. Nearly two hours. I was only gonna do an hour. So, yeah, we're gonna leave it there for tonight. Probably, I'm gonna try and stream this week. We've got Drift Masters this coming, um, this coming uh, Saturday. So I wanna stream on Friday. Um, but again, it'll probably just be a private stream, like a private track. Because you can't, I can't, I can't do a public server on that, um, on that track because it'll be private, and I probably won't even join the public server at that. Because the computer right now struggles a lot with streaming. I can do single player stuff fine, but yeah, we'll be back again soon. Make sure to check out all of our social medias. We're on uh, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I've got a TikTok now as well. I actually stay. Yeah, would you believe I've got a TikTok? Let me show you what it is. Chat. Make sure. <coughs> chat. <coughs> make sure to follow the TikTok. Nothing special, right? I didn't really want to state that I was on TikTok because I despise TikTok. I actually don't really like TikTok at all, right? I'll be honest, okay? I don't like it, okay? Uh, do, uh, one second. Let me show what it is. Um, I hope you that no, stop playing TikToks, man. Uh, if you don't, if stop you don't playing know. TikToks. Anyway, the... the <laughs> TikTok is Heinzy, basically. That's how you find it. Make sure to follow it. Um, all right, that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll talk to you guys during the week at some point. And uh, I'll probably do more streams like this in the future. Just kind of chill streams, just driving, right? Just chatting and driving. Because they're, they're, they are quite fun. I, I plan to work on some data stuff. But uh, I just got caught up with driving. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we will talk to you guys uh, during the week. All right, good night. Enjoy your Valentine's Day tomorrow, family. Got some Valentine's. We'll speak to you soon. Peace.